Now, women's groups have expressed outrage at the sentence, saying it's too light. Ordinary South Africans have also spoken out, saying justice has failed. I think you can see that uh, the Women's League today, we are actually wearing black on our heads. It's mourning all those women that died in the hands of their partners. Hence, you can see all of us wearing black. And it seems as if we anticipated that will be more hurt. We are embarrassed and very insulted about the sentence. We were mindful that uh, they were saying 15 years and then uh, looking at the, ten year, uh, the five years that was given, at least the 10 years would have saved something to us. But uh, now you give six years, you add one into five. Capable homicide and murder for us, a person just not get it. To South Africans, and I don't think even to only South Africans, it's very, it's very bad, it's an insult. That's what I can say. It's an insult to women. Well, let's bring you a legal perspective now on this uh, final chapter of the Oscar Pistorius saga. I'm joined live from our Johannesburg studios by South African advocate Nomazocho Memani. Uh, welcome to Africa Live, Nomazocho. Now, just to begin with, as an advocate yourself, what do you think of uh, Oscar Pistorius's sentence? Has justice been served? As an advocate myself, I'm firstly, I am a woman, and then advocate is just a profession. I must say that I am disappointed about the sentencing of Oscar Pistorius. And I am disappointed in the sense that I thought that because Judge Masipa was highly criticized about the previous sentencing, and I thought that maybe he will think otherwise. Well, let's go back to where you started there. You say that you identify yourself as a woman first. Now, we know that many women's groups uh, agree with you that the sentence has been too light. Many suggesting that the entire trial up to sentencing have shown that violence against women is not taken seriously in South Africa. What's your take on that? Yes, it is indeed. I think the violence against women, the gender-based violence in South Africa, is not necessarily taking place. But the laws of the country, I must say, we've got good laws in the country that set up how to deal with the gender-based violence. But then in this particular case, because on cases it depends from one judge to the other, and then who prescribe or who decides on, of, of how to sentence an individual. Mm. But I just want to highlight one thing, particularly about the domestic a, a violence in South Africa. When a person goes and reports domestic violence in South Africa, it is not recorded in the criminal book. It is recorded on a book of uh, civil. So I think that is the starting point mm. because it is regarded, when you go and report the violence uh, against your partner, it's regarded as a matter between yourself and your partner. Well, I suppose many were hoping that uh, the courts would make an example out of Oscar Pistorius. It's six years now officially, but as far as the terms of his imprisonment are concerned, how long will Pistorius actually be behind bars for? He has been sentenced to six years, and then that six years is also depending on the Correctional Services Law that talks to the parole. And then the parole in South Africa is not an automatic thing. And then you are considered for parole after you have served 50%, uh, uh, but it's not an automatic. It also depends on your behavior as, a, as, a, as, a, as an offender. It also be, uh, depends on the programs, whether you have attended all the programs to recorrect the, 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 the errors. No, we, uh, we know, of course, we know, of course, that, uh, just yeah. sorry to interrupt you there, but I was just going to add that we know, of course, that the entire world has been watching um, this case over the past uh, three years. Ultimately, what do you think it says about South Africa's justice system on the whole? You know, this, is, this should send a very serious message to the justice system in South Africa. I think we'll need to discuss, to dialogue about the gender-based violence in this country. Because if you look at South Africa, South Africa is also leading in femicide in this country. And then we need to take issues of gender-based violence or domestic violence very seriously. I think we'll need to have a dialogue outside the courts. We need to engage our judges. We need to engage our lawyers. We need also to engage the society. Because largely, as I'm speaking now, there are many tweeters and that are criticizing the, the judge. And I've listened to the judgment very, very carefully. And the judge has indicated that Oscar was remorseful. But then the fact of the matter, was he remorseful for killing, uh, 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 for murdering River, or was he remorseful because he wanted to defend himself or he didn't want to go to, 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 
to, to jail. That's another story. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. is why I'm saying in South Africa, we really need to dialogue the issues of gender-based violence. Well, absolutely. Because the country is leading in terms of femicide, mm -hmm. as I've indicated, yes. Well, we'll because in every there, eight afraid, hours, no, a woman is killed by a romantic... I do apologize oh. for that, but we will have to leave it there. Uh, this is where it ends, of course, for Oscar Pistorius, but as uh, advocate uh, Noma Zotra Memani rightly says, plenty of work for the South African justice system in itself to do.